bit of a late night video edit this one. In this video, we get the fall link installed, um, coilovers, and a lot of welding boo boos. So, this video has a lot of welding in it. <laughs> and that's the fall link. Tin soldiers fall link um, mounted up on the floor. Uh, there's the underside of the tubs. A lot of the work I've got to do is up into here and behind there. Doesn't look like much, it's going to take a while to get all that patch welded in. And I'll probably fill in a bit of a section along here as well. Just a little bit. Because I know when this does burn out, it's going to try and launch chunks of rubber up into that corner. So. I may as well try and fill it in. And there's still a bit of work on this side as well. Just welding in pieces in there to fill that in. And there'll be some rust repairs on that rear quarter. A little bit on the underside here. Probably can't really see, but there's a little bit of rust in there. Just a little bit down there. Sills aren't too bad, but I don't know if that paint there might be for some small holes. But I'll just have to wait until I get the rip disc on it and take a bit of paint off. So that's where I'm up to in the rear end. Um, how I've done the diff, I've welded the arms on. Uh, the way I've set it up for the wishbone is I'm going to have it under here and the wishbone is basically going to triangulate it's like a triangle section coming in here that's going to support the the housing from moving side to side um, I won't be able to do that until I get it all mounted up in the car yeah, sorry I've only just MIG welded the um, four link brackets on the diff only because I don't know how to TIG weld <laughs> so and I don't really have the time to learn it so I'm just gonna stick with the MIGs and if I get any ugly welds I'll just grind them as long as they penetrate and don't break off I'm happy this is a Pro9 uh, chromoly housing three and a half inch axle tubes with a back brace and up here these are the shocks I'm going to be using these are the billet brackets and there's the AFCO radial valve shocks with six inch of travel and they have a little separate um, gas canister. I've already got the springs. I'll do a bit of an update. We're going to go to roll racing this weekend but it rained out so we're going next Friday instead. I uh, fitted some 295-55 Hoosier drag radials. I've just found it a little bit better for no prep stuff. Um, Nothing really changed in the boot of the car. I fitted one of these Innovate. It's a dual wideband data logger little machine. So it's going to log the RPM and the left and right pipe, the fuel ratio. Just to help a little bit with the nitrous side of things, tuning and making sure the tune's right. I'm not allowed to have front runners anymore for roll racing so I had to change the front wheels. Under here nothing's really changed with this motor. It's just 598 cubic inches after the rebuild and uh, it's got 400 shot of nitrous in it at the moment so and it's still all on the 85.
I'm just going to move it out into the other shed in a minute. This is the diff housing I bought for McFry. I'm going to redo the rear suspension in the car, get a bit more adjustability to help do some fine tuning. I got all this stuff from Tin Soldiers from the USA. So I'll work on that after I get the rear done of the ute and hopefully get it back to the drag strip and see if I can get the car to hook up. All right, let's move it out of the shed. Again. Make it a bit more easy to work on, and I'll still need to do a lot of welding up in here as well. But we'll see where we get to. Alrighty, so what we've done here is just done some cuts in here and cut that section there out. And what we're going to do now is get the hammer out and bit it into shape like that. Now I'm just going to put a bit of pressure on here, push that up, um, weld from there to there, and then 
I can finish off doing the rest. But it's just going to keep bending back if I try and... Or I might try to clamp it actually, if I can, try to clamp it up to get them welded. I'll clean them up and get welding. Alright, so I've got them cleaned up, so I'm going to start welding. This is a new welder I bought, a Unimig um, 250 welder. I just needed the extra amps to weld them thicker materials, like that sort of stuff. So, the old little Lincoln welder I used wasn't too bad for doing like panel work and stuff like that, but yeah, I've got this beauty and I'm a bit rookie with it. So, I don't know how these welds are going to go, but I'll just give it my best shot. Very rookie with this thing. 18 volt. Got less fly speed. So I had a bit of a moment with the welder. Wondering why it wasn't welding properly and I had the negative and positive around the wrong way. So the MIG welds were essentially going the wrong way. Which kind of sucks because I welded the four link arms and the brackets on the diff like that. And I had no idea what was wrong with the welder. But now I do. So I'm gonna have to at least uh, re-weld the arms because I don't, don't trust the reverse MIG welds on those. Um, and the diff, uh, I'm just gonna have to clean up the bulky welds of flap discs and yeah, a bit of a rookie error, but I suppose this sort of stuff happens. I figured out when I tried welding uh, this and I just kept doing like bubble shit welds and I had no idea what was wrong. But I turned it, reversed the polarity on it and it's welding like normal now, so I just ground all the welds back. And I've just got a weld a plate in the middle now, just down here, on both sides, and then I can move on to the next step. Alright, so yesterday I had a bit of a bad day, so I've come out today and early and we're having a good crack and we're going to get it all done, I'm hoping. So it's only 9 o'clock in the morning and I managed to get the coil overs mounted. welded some plates in and I just tacked the bar in and I'll finish the welds up when I lift the body off. So much better now that the weld is working like it should. But these here, I know that they don't look that bad but I welded those with a positive around the wrong way on the welder, so... I'm gonna grind them back and redo them, just to be on the safe side. Same with the falling arms as well. It's gonna be a lot of horsepower going through them, so it's not really worth the risk. Let me zoom this out a bit. I've been using this uh, digital inclimator to get everything right and how it should. 
Uh, there's little gas shocks. And I'll probably get mounted up around there somewhere. And ball link up the front here. I've only just got that through there and just tacked it. Just temporary. This bar in the middle here has got to come out obviously because the tail shaft's got to run through here. But overall we're looking pretty good. There's six inches of travel in these rear shocks. Um, the notch turned out pretty good. Yeah. Progress. And this is the devil welder over here. See, so before when I was welding, the thing wouldn't weld. I had to have the wire speed up over here. And then I had to have the voltage up around like 24, 25, just to get the thing to weld. So I just wish I picked up on the problem a bit earlier. But it's all good. I'm going to pull the diff out now. Get started on grinding them welds off and redoing them. So we've begun grinding welds out and putting new welds in. These are still a bit hot. This is the old welds I'm grinding out. And these are the new welds going in. A lot better than what they did last time. Hollowed it out with the grinder. And how I'm going to weld this is just leave it in there and just turn that and then drop the weld in. And I'm going to do a video of it. Hang on. It looks a million times better than the last welds. The before welds and the cleaned up after welds. Alrighty, so a little more update. Uh, the housing has been redone. Did a little bit of die grinding even. These welds are a lot better than the previous ones I had on there. So these are the floating hubs from Race Products. And they've got five eight studs. Um, gonna take a wheelwood caliper. And that's the big mighty spindle. I just need to get about one mil machined off off that just to get it to slide in there. This is gonna have to get cut down a bit, but I've just gotta wait till I get the back wheels before I can do that. Over here, I redid all the welds on control arms and just gave them a little light clean up. And they're a lot better than they were before, also. And there's the falling. So they're just the coilover brackets. They're all welded up now. 
I've got a little bit to do underneath. This here, I've just mounted it with them two points there. I can't get the welder in some areas, which is a bit of a pain, but just got to work with what I've got. And I've got a chromoly bar. It's going to go down in this point here. I need to get a bend in it, so it's going to come up, go under here, come across, and up under here. Just need to double check that um, the tail shaft isn't going to hit it before I do it because I might need to put a bend in it there or get like a hoop. Um, and then obviously after I get that done I'm going to put a bar coming from here just weld it onto that bit of chrome oil that goes across there and I'll have it coming back into this section here just to support that lower section of the falling that's really all I've got up to on the ute I've still got all that welding to do I just had the weekend bug it up so I'll get stuck into that maybe this week or next week that's all guys, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, give me another maybe two weeks when I get the back wheels and I'll have another video for you. Peace out.